Hello everyone, this is Karen and thank you for joining me for this first impression video of the 12 and a half pan handmade watercolor set by Alina Gallo. If you have not seen me unbox this set, I will leave links to, the, uh, to it in the description down below and in the cards up above. I will also leave a link to Alina's page in case you want to check that out as well. So what I'm going to tell you are, are my first impressions because I wrote them down as soon as I finished painting but I wanted to spend a couple of words uh, on the set as well because I have been using it for a couple of weeks now so I wanted to yeah, give you two words about it. Spoilers! Okay, so the tin is quite good, it's uh, very sturdy, I have been throwing it around and it has yet to dent so I'm quite happy about that. About the brush, I don't know if it's me abusing my my brushes or maybe it's because uh, it's a synthetic I have no idea but uh, in the beginning it was fine but then it started to lose uh, uh, its fine point so um, for detail work uh, it's uh, it's kind of hard to use it now but it's still doable so uh, if this is your first set and this is your only brush maybe you should uh, um, widen your range a little bit uh, if you have others, uh, you're fine, but uh, let's face the truth, a watercolor artist does not have just one brush, so you're going to be fine. Okay, let's talk about the interesting part, so uh, the paints. The set is composed by a split primary set, so one warm tone and a cool tone for yellow, red and blue. Then you get uh, two greens, uh, uh, three shades of uh, earth tones, browns, and then you have uh, your uh, paints gray. These are not uh, uh, all transparent uh, uh, pigments, but honestly I have been using them over um, over already laid lines and they're not exactly that opaque so as to cover them so while they're not all transparent mm, you can pretty much use this set as a transparent one if you want nine of them are single pigments so most uh, of the set is composed by single pigment uh, um, paints if you are into that then the other ones are uh, double pigment aside from the paints gray which is a mix of uh, three pigments but uh, paints gray is always going to be a mix so two or three mm, not that much difference okay now someone some, some uh, paint expert is going to shoot me i'm sorry <laughs> Okay, um, another thing i noticed is that they're very very smooth for uh, handmade watercolors they almost look like schminkers and uh, I have to say they do reactivate beautifully you just uh, spray a little bit of water over them and they do stay wet for a long time some of them do tend to dry quicker than the others but uh, I never had to uh, spray water in between uh, um, you know a color mixing and the other like it happened with I don't know Prima or Mungio or, or other brands um then color vibrancy <laughs> you as you can see these are awesome they're great and uh, i have to say that i really really love them all the only one i do not exactly like and uh, um i'm really sorry about that is the uh chromium oxide because it is very opaque and uh, when i say very opaque i mean i can paint myself with it to go out and I would be dressed and uh, mm, it's not exactly a shade of green I kind of like but I can see the usefulness because uh, um, I read a little bit about it and uh, it's uh, awesome to tone down and uh, opacize a little bit kind of all the unnatural colors uh, you have in the palette so if you're looking for some uh, to do some urban sketching or some landscape better landscapes this is going to be your best friend maybe not uh, in its pure form because as i said it's very opaque and uh, not exactly a shade of green you see a lot aside from olive trees but uh, um when mixed it 
does really make uh, some good earth mixes. So along with the other three um, earth tones you have in this palette, uh, it's going to be great uh, also for, for landscapes. Uh, since I do like my brother colors, uh, I have been using mostly the uh, the split primary part of this set and uh, Alina also has uh, uh, the primary set uh, um, separated for from the uh, full size set so if you're interested in taking a look at that, uh, you can get that uh, on their own, on its own or not uh, not along with all the other shades, but uh, I am a hoarder so I want all of them now let's all listen together to the ambulance. Honestly, I will just learn to talk over it because uh, it's uh, it's getting annoying. Pass the cross section. Let it pass. Yeah. Okay, so final considerations. I really really liked and I really really like this set. It has vibrancy, which I I love. It mostly has transparency, which is something I also like. Plus uh, uh, there are no uh, heavily granulating colors aside from a little bit ultramarine, but um, they're mostly uh, non-granulating, so really, really happy about that as well. They mix well, really wet well, and uh, um, I really like the color selection as well. Yes, even chromium oxide green, because I know it's going to uh, become useful when I do landscapes, when I do some urban sketching. I know I'm going to use it, even though um, when I usually sketch, I go for brighter colors, but not a problem, I am happy to have it uh, in my in my pocket uh, if I need it. That's basically it. It's a set I would uh, recommend, yes. It's a set I'm happy to have, yes. Would I buy again? Yes. <laughs> now that you have the trade of yes, I thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and uh, until next time, bye.